That's a keeper there. I'm not sure about letting this one go. Here, folks. Here we go. This is one of the most popular places on the fair. We have more than 500,000 people a year visit the DNR building, and we know that a big reason that they're here is because of the fish tanks. Well, the old aquariums, they were built sometime uh, in the 60s, maybe even the late 50s, so they've been here for a long time. Uh, they're pretty, pretty simple construction, fiberglass aquariums with blue backgrounds. Uh, so we came up with the thought of doing something a little different to create more of a, an aquatic environment inside each of the aquariums, something a little more represent, representative of our Minnesota lakes. We were given five different lakes uh, from various parts of the state, from northern Minnesota where you might see uh, Pelican Lake, that's Brainerd, uh, to southern Minnesota where we have Cedar Lake, and then down to uh, Whitewater. We lowered the levels of the aquarium to make them children friendly because really, you know, it's, a, it's the kids, you want to be able to have them uh, see something, get them interested, get them interested in fishing, be able to see these specimens in their true environments. And now the tanks are lower by a good foot or so so they can get right up to it and actually look in and enjoy them. There's things to discover in them. Uh, we've got turtles in them, we've got mud puppies, uh, salamanders, all sorts of different aquatic life. And then in the decor itself, there's all sorts of different uh, details hidden in. Well, it's our hope that by having this type of an exhibit, you know, we, we pull people in just by virtue of curiosity. They learn what uh, significance fish have in Minnesota and the significance that fishing has, and they take that next step and they become the uh, next uh, generation of uh, anglers, the next generation of conservationists. And so for that reason, what I'd like to do today is to dedicate this to the next generation of uh, anglers and conservationists in Minnesota. These new exhibits are just phenomenal.